both me and Joey wanted to do a Cinco de Mayo um, cooking segment for you guys, but it's a healthy cooking segment. Skinny because, de Mayo. Yes, um, summer's coming. We want to look good, but we still want to have a good time eating. Yeah, who doesn't love Mexican food, margaritas, yeah. tacos? I'm Chilena. Yeah, so we all want to have a good time, but no one wants to waste all the calories. They add up. All those sugary margaritas, See? the tortilla chips. Oh, the worst. The cheese and all the guacamole and all that stuff, it Guac adds up. So we're going to yeah. have the same feel of it, and you're yeah. going to enjoy and while out on Cinco de Mayo and get drunk, but the skinny girl way. So the good thing is Joey's an amazing cook. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So it balances out. True that. I'm just here for the wine and to learn how to cook. Yeah. Well, cheers. Let me cheers. tell you what we have on the menu today. Okay. Well, this isn't on the menu. We're just drinking because we're drunk. Yeah. We're going to do tacos, but we're going to do them healthy. Ooh. So we're going to do ground turkey tacos. So the turkey I has love turkey meat. half the fat of um, ground beef. I got 99% fat free turkey. We're going to do that, but we're going to spice it up and make it really flavorful and yummy. And instead of spice using it. tortilla shells, we're going to use Boston lettuce. Sh um, shells. Yeah, so you cut which the carbs. actually tastes better, by yeah. the way. Yeah, you cut all the carbs oh, and you get these fresh the little, little, um, little bites. You can eat more of them than you would a normal taco because there's half the fat and half the carb, half the carbs you and half the right. calories in that. But we have a bunch of fixings so you don't miss out on any of the flavor. Then I'm going to do a round two recipe where we're going to take the same ground beef topping we made for our tacos and we're going to put it in to our stuffed bell peppers. I saw this on Facebook and Joey made it before. Yeah, so you take a stuffed bell pepper, cut it up, and then we're going to so mix excited. some beans and some other vegetables in there, stuff them, add some cheese, and roast them off. So we're going to have a more of an um, upscale entree if you're having a, a little bit dinner party. Um, and then we're going to make a margarita. We're going to make a skinny girl margarita. So we're, cut, we're not using any of the sugary mixers and all that crap. We're going to do it with fresh squeezed lime juice, agave nectar, Whoa. and I'm going to have jalapenos in mine because I like it spicy, but Nicole's going to have hers classico, if you will. And um, the jalapeno burns fat, so... Why so not? you guys, everyone has a hidden talent. I don't think you know this, but Joey is an amazing cook. Yes. So this is his hidden talent and you're going to see it. What's my hidden talent besides you, cheerleading? You're a great bargain shopper. Yes. Um, you're a great mom. Everyone knows that though. Thanks. Um, and you're psychic. A true alcoholic. So what you're going to need for this first part is some ground turkey. I use yum, white meat yum, turkey. Yum, yum, yum. And we have a pan here, which is a little bit of olive oil. We're going to get this started to brown. Just but a drizzle. This is your cooking show. Okay. You don't want to use um, a, a high fat oil like um, canola because that's not good for you. So I'm using um, uh, olive oil. Can you use coconut oil also? Or yeah. does it take away from the. No, the you taste? can. So we put our ground turkey in there. And then we're just going to start stirring that up. Can you do that for me? Sure. And you want to get a nice brown on this. And then once this browns. Do you use the taco meat? No, this is the taco meat. I mean the spice. No, I'm going to use spice, but I'm going to use um, real spices instead of the ones in the packet. The ones in the oh, packet. Oh, a lot of sodium. Too much sodium. Ooh. Too, and it has sugar in it too. And if you're not, if you're on like a, a low carb diet, sugar so is good. bad for you. So we're going to brown this up. I'm going to give you the other one. Do you remember doing this for two recipes? So we're going to make double the meat. So we're going to have to do it twice. That's what she said. Oh, make sure you take these papers out. This is not on. It is. 20 okay. bucks to eat raw meat. Sick, get out of here. Okay. okay, so now that we have our turkey meat cooked, you want to make sure all the pink is gone and so make sure it's cooked through. We're going to start adding our aromatics, our red onion. Aromatic? Yeah. What's that? Add red onion, add some of that. Oh, God. That's going to give a nice flavor. I'm just mixing to pretend I'm doing something. Yeah. This smells terrible. What are you talking about? It smells like a sock and an armpit together. Shut up. So now we're going to add some seasoning. We're going to use some chili powder. Oh, is that spicy? No, it's not. It's just flavor. Chili powder, stir it up. Cumin, which is that toasty Coconut warm homie. spice that's in all Mexican cooking. Where'd you get all this? Um, Wegmans. Need a lot of this. Ooh. And then you're gonna oh, that use. smells like a taco. Yeah, it's taco. And then we use Mexican oregano. It's different than. Oh, now it smells good. It's different than regular Italian oregano, but if you just have Italian, it's fine. And you're gonna put this in, and that's our core spices. Then we're just gonna use some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a dash of. Ooh, Isn't it good? It's smelling good. I told you, girl. Some salt. Do it up. So some salt. Now you can control how much salt oh, you want. Oh, that's a lot of salt. I thought we were relaxing on the sodium. Oh. Black pepper. Come on. Ooh. Can you open that? No. Sorry. Okay. Black pepper. And I'm going to do a little bit of jalapeno. It's just for flavor, not spice. 
You make sure you take the seeds and the stems out, otherwise you'll blow fire out of your asshole when you go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't want that. No, it's not. I took the seeds out and the stems. That's where all the heat is. This is just really finely diced jalapeno. See, I'm not into spice. I don't know you guys, but like I, I can't do spice because my tongue burns off. Okay, so, oh wait, and then some crushed red peppers. Um, sorry, diced red peppers. This is gonna give lots of color and some flavor to it. You're not telling like the amount though. Oh, I'm just doing it to see. I don't know how much it is. Half a cup of red peppers or one cup of red peppers to two pounds of ground turkey for both recipes. Until it looks good. I mean, these are vegetables. You can't go wrong. Um, and I would do cilantro, but you don't want any, right? No, can we not? No, we don't have okay. to. If, if you like it, by if, all means. But if you don't like cilantro, you can there. use um, scallions instead, and it gives kind of good flavor with it. I don't think I it. like that either. Whatever. Um, so now we just stir this up until it is nice and crumbled and juicy, and then I'll show you how to assemble your tacos. Just put a little spoonful, however much you want, and already, this smells amazing. This reminds me of In and Out. In and Out. Like, yeah, you know how you get the protein. Oh burger? right. So it's like wrapped in lettuce instead of a bun. So normal taco meat, um, beef has tons of fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol Can we do in a little it. Little cheese. Oh yeah, we're gonna do cheese. Okay. Um, cholesterol. This has 99% fat free, so this is literally no calories at all. So you can indulge and have double the amount. So I'm just putting this in as much as you want. I like to leave room for toppings. I made a topping bar here. I have everything there that you want. I have some sliced radishes, some jalapenos, red cabbage, um, sour cream, low fat sour cream. So you're saving your calories mm, there. I love sour cream. I have low fat shredded Mexican cheese. I have tomatoes. Oh. You guys, this looks so good. All right, so. Good job, Joey. All right, so let's top these how we want. Let's do cheese on all of them. So while it's hot. Cheeser? We'll do. Oh, is that salsa? Yeah. So I'm doing some low-fat Mexican cheese, so it'll yes. melt on top. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm only doing about like a table, a teaspoon of cheese on each taco, which is nothing. These are already the healthiest things ever. Let's do a couple radishes just because they're pretty. Oh, I don't want a radish. You can just pick it off. I'm such a picky eater. A couple radishes. This is very Mexican and fresh. It gives a little crunch. Joey's all about presentation. Yeah. Oh, that goes there. And that, and this. And then a little red cabbage, or no? Pretty. It's just pretty. It's purple. So the more colorful food you eat, the better. And um, avocado, and sour cream, do you like sour cream? I love sour cream. Um, avocado, I'll do on mine. She doesn't like avocado, so I'll do it on a couple of them. I like avocado. I'll just do it on those three. And um, sour cream, a dollop a daisy, girl. Low fat sour cream. This is really, like, you're not missing anything so on this. Good. You're getting full flavor. Oh, it smells fat free too. Mm. You get full flavor. You're not missing any of the flavor for sure. And you're getting to take advantage of taco night. So you guys, it. you guys try this because I feel like it's better than actual tacos. And tacos are a mess. They're crunchy. They get everywhere. It's a pain in the ass, to be honest. And then I use some. I serve with some fresh lime if you want. You don't have to put the limes. But put it on your platter. It just adds a little freshness to it. You guys, look at that. What Joey made. Mm. Amazing. And that's it. Let me get it for the snap. Because you know how we do on our socials. Make sure you follow Joey and Snap. Me on Instagram. Taco Tuesday, skinny girl margarita style. Kura. Who me? I made it. Yeah. So you guys, our tacos are done. Should we taste them? Tacos are done. Yes. Oh my god, these are gonna be a mess. But you can pick them up now. Ooh, ready? One, yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna do it. <gasps> One, two, three, go. Nicole. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm not even kidding. They are bomb. But now let's do a round two recipe. Finish and, your taco. And it's really easy. So if you guys are not like Joey, which I wish we all were, and you're not good at cooking, I can do this. So if I can do this, you guys can do it. It's so, so simple. simple. So simple. All okay. right, now take your fingers and just gut, take all the stuff out. Ew! <gasps> oh God, it feels like I'm killing someone. <laughs> and that's it. Just rip out all the seeds and the stems and stuff. So it's kind of cleaned out, easy peasy. Ow. Hey, don't hurt yourself Am now. I gonna cry? No, that's, these aren't hot. Oh. All right, do this one. And then you bring your lid over here. 
How cute. Do you actually eat the pepper or it's just for No, of course you eat it. It's, it roasts and gets yummy and good. How cute. So I remember seeing this on Facebook because I follow a lot of the simple recipes that I can cook because I suck in the kitchen. And I saw this and I texted it to Joey and Joey said, bitch, I just made that last week. I did. So that's why we're making it today. So easy. I see how easy it was. Yeah. Now, put, now you have these, I'm going to uh, oven safe dish like this. This is one's from Pyrex and you stuff them like this. Now it's time to make uh, our filling for it. We're going to set this aside. So now we're going to have a bowl. We're going to take our turkey meat we took. We'll do about half of this because we want to save some for the rest of our tacos. Put this in. So now we have our taco meat in here. Next we're going to add some black beans. So black beans are going to... Oh, I hate beans. You do? You do? Yeah, just do it. You sure? You do it. Okay. I'll use half of them. Tell everyone, since we're best friends, all the food that I hate. Let's she hates seafood, uh -huh. mushrooms, yeah. avocado, yeah. spicy, um, shoo, ooh, that's most of them. And beans. And beans. Okay. So normally this recipe calls for rice, but since we're doing low carb and no carb and fat free, we're not going to use any rice. So we're using beans, so that's going to give it a little bit more weight to it, a little beefiness. And I'm also going to add a little bit of almond meal. This is just ground up almond, so you can find it in all the health food stores near the flour instead of regular flour which has gluten in it. This is just... Oh, uh, so this is gluten free? It's, oh yeah, everything's gluten free we made. This okay. is just crushed up almond, so it's going to give a little bit more of a bindingness to it so it sticks together. When Isn't you, he so smart when he cooks? When you put it in. I feel like everyone knows you as like the drunk, like gay friend. Yeah. But look at him now, guys. Okay. This is the other side of Joey that you don't see. So this thickens it up, guys. So when you bake it, it doesn't get soupy and run everywhere and become a runny mess. It'll kind of stay tight and yummy. That's what she said. We're going to do half of this cheese because that's going to make it sticky and yummy. And we're going to save the other half to top our um, peppers with so it gets bubbly and melty on top. You're on fire. Thank You're you. You're not stuttering. That's amazing. All right. Next, we're going to take um, our roasted red peppers, kind of what's inside. Um, just a little bit more for freshness. We already have it in there cooked. Um, and then we're going to take some roasted, um, fire roasted tomatoes. It's just, it a can like bruschetta. it's just a can of uh, diced tomatoes you can use. This is going to be our wet ingredient that's going to make it juicy. Bomb. And I want to do a little cilantro, but we're going to leave it out. You can top yours with cilantro. And this is all really you use. We and can it, top it on yours. Yeah. And, and I also do a jalapeno slice on top for presentation. So now that this is nice and Good. Let's use the rest of these beans. I know you hate them, but... It's fine. Mushing them together, the beans kind of release this kind of... Release? What? Yeah, no, it makes it thicker. Hormones? Yeah, it releases the hormones. Great. So now we have our mixture. Oh, it, looks it looks like this. It looks so Chilena. Yeah, it's so cheesy and delish. So now we take this and we're going to scoop this bitty, into bitty, each bum, bum. one of our peppers. So you take our... Oh, first got to take peppers. You have to put oil on them. Hold on. If you don't put oil on them, they get kind it of like watery. Thick. This, it, it sticks a little bit, but you just do that a little bit. Just to give some That's flavor. Fattening. But a little oil is good. Okay. It's healthy fat. Is it? Yeah, girl. And then you stuff these. Oh, how pretty. Let's use a smaller spoon so we don't over do on the side of the plate. Watch your beach. Oh, and also oh, the I pan. The spoons go. I don't know. There's one there. Um, also the pan, you want to put a little bit of oil on the pan first so that they don't stick yeah. to that either. So we preheated the oven to At 500, 500 degrees. So how long do you leave it in for? You can leave it in just until everything's kind of cooked through. All the ingredients are cooked, so just do it to your likeness. You want the, bub the cheese to get bubbly and brown. Um, mm. Yeah, let's do tin foil. And then you put it under the broiler at the oh, end if you want to make it really cool. bubbly and brown on top. But look at all this. And you can eat a whole one of these and make a nice little side salad with some avocado and... Um, like a lime dressing would be nice. So you have a healthy meal for that. And don't worry guys, we're gonna get wild and crunk and fun after this, because we're gonna make skinny girl margaritas and that's gonna turn, um, turn us up, girl. Turn up! I'm already turn up. I know, our wine. I'm drunk. This, can we shout out our wine that we're drinking? Mm. My so favorite. So our girlfriend, Tiffany. Tiffy girl! Hey girl, um, she's from a river winery in upstate New York, um, New Paltz, right? Mm -hmm. New Paltz area, where I grew up and her wine is to die for. Oh. So if you guys are ever upstate New York, go to the winery, it's so much fun, and yeah. the wine's delicious. Yeah, so we've been drinking that all day. So these are almost stuffed. Now we're gonna take the cheese and top it with it. Can I do the cheese? So yeah, of something? course. Use all of it, because I want these really cheesy. 
and you pack these down, guys. Make sure you, you your, pack them. You want to pack it in there tight because we want all that good meatiness to get in there. So. Oh my God, pack it tight. You want that meat in there. Okay, look, so now we're all stuffed. Delish. And I use a high, high sided pan so they don't topple over. And now you just top them up with cheese evenly and pack them down like that. Delicious, guys. Mmm. And then you pop them in the oven at 500 degrees until everything gets cheesy and bubbly and that's it. This Pura. is amazing. I know. We're like real chefs. Done. And then a little trick I do, I take one thin, thin jalapeno slice and put it on top of the cheese so when it melts, it looks like... Presentation. Delish. Oh, can this you... This is what you use to dye your hair. You can. Can you spray that with Pam so it doesn't stick to the cheese? Oh, now you're getting If you're covering it with tin foil like you should in the beginning, spray your tin foil with a little non-stick cooking spray. Stop. It's right there. Oh. Non-stick cooking spray because that will prevent the cheese from sticking to the tin foil when you take it off. Then all your cheese will be removed and it'll freak out. I would hate that. All right. So now it's time for the fun part. Yeah. Margaritas. Okay. But it's going to be healthy margaritas. Yeah. So normally margaritas can have up to 500 calories in them just for like a small serving of it because it has tons of sour mix, which is full of sugar and horrible oh, for you. Worst. And then it has triple sec, which is a really strong um, orange liqueur, which is so much sugar and calories. So we're going to cut the calories in half. We're only going to use silver tequila, which is one of the healthiest in, uh, if you're on a diet, liquors to drink. There you go. And we're using agave syrup instead of, agave nectar, sorry, instead of sugar. And that is a low glycemic um, sweetener, so it's not going to be uh -oh. bad for you. A little bit of it goes a long way and it'll be healthy for you. And we're gonna use fresh squeezed lime juice instead of those sugary sour mixes. I'm gonna add a little jalapeno to mine because I like a little bit of spice mm. and it burns fat and it's yummy. You don't want any spice though. No. Okay. So, first up, we have our margarita glasses. So, we're just gonna rim it with the lime that wets it and then we're gonna put salt on it. So, we have some coarse salt. margarita salt or just uh, kosher yes. salt. Show everyone what you're doing. Oh, so I'm just putting it in a little. Um, plate. Then you just get that on the rim. Yummy. Yeah. And it just makes it taste even better. And it's like, you know, yes, a little salty, a little sweet. And then while she's doing that, I'm going to fill my yum, shaker yum, yum. with some ice cubes. So good. That looks cute. Look at it. It already looks pretty. And we got these at the dollar store. So yeah, they're plastic. Yeah. So if you get drunk, you can just throw them at people and you won't get in trouble. Exactly. Um, so now we're taking our tequila. I'm going to do like four guzzles because I'm going to make two margaritas. So I'm going to like count to four, but like long ways. Like one Mississippi, let's see. He's not a bartender. He's one, just an alcoholic. One, two, three, Oh my God, that's four. a oh my God. Sorry. Um, just a little bit of sweetener goes a long way. This is stronger um, than regular uh, regular sugar. So you just need a little dollop. Bloop. Maybe a little more. Okay, that. Then we're gonna take fresh squeezed lime juice and not using um, lime juice in a bottle. Anything that comes in a bottle has sugar in it. We're gonna use fresh limes. And if you don't have a juicer, um, like we don't have one here, so I'm going to show you a little trick. If you have tongs Tongue. like this, this is how you're going to get your juice out. You just take your little lime like that, put it in between, and then squeeze all the juice out of there. Yum. In. And I'm doing two full limes for two margaritas. So each margarita has a lime in it, so it's f filled with fresh, juicy goodness. And one more. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, and then we just have to shake it up. So I'm yeah. taking a little thing. I found this in Gianni's bar. It's a little He's gonna kill him. shaker that you twist on, and it has little slots there, but you can lock that so you can just shake it up. And then you all in one. It's all in one. Now you can add some ice so it's nice and chill. For mine, I'm gonna add the jalapeno slices on into my glass because I like it spicy. Cheers to Skinny DeMaio. Okay, cheers, girl. Cheers. It's going to be bad. It's going to be strong. I'm scared. Mama? Oh, my God. Oh, really good, though. So maybe not add so much tequila like Joey did? Yeah. I put a lot of tequila. <laughs> but overall, it's, it's healthy. Well, uh -oh. But between this, um, the Skinny Tacos, and our stuffed peppers, which I'm going to show you in just one second. Yes. It's a great way to celebrate without breaking the bank calorie-wise. Look how delish. Yes. Oh my God. So good. So you put it in a 500 degree oven covered for 25 minutes and then you take yeah. the cover At off. 500. 500. Then you take the silt, the tin foil off and mm -hmm. put it under the broiler for literally, you have to watch it like a minute or two. Yeah, because the broiler, you'll, you'll have a fire. It'll singe you. But I just want it yeah. to get nice and crunchy on top like that so with the cheese. Good. So just do it with the broiler till it's burned, um, till it's singed a little bit and melty. Then you serve it at the top 
kind of cinched like that onto your plate. How cute! So put some fat free or low fat. A little cilantro. There you go. And then you put the top on. Mm. How pretty is that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. So you're not going to break the bag. You get to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but still keep skinny on your diet. Yeah, so I feel like overall everything is amazing. It's so easy to do. Thank you, Joey, for helping us cook. Mm. I'm not a cook. He is, but we can all do this. It's so easy. Yeah. And thank you guys for enjoying Skinny de Mayo with us. Um, we hope you try our recipes and happy Cinco de Mayo! Happy Cinco de Mayo! We love you. Subscribe, comment below, and like our video. Bye, Cheers. girl! Cheers, girl! <laughs>